Hey everyone, and welcome to another video on this channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the must-have tools for any model maker. And we're going to start right off with a cutting mat. Now, apologies for mine being so used and abused. I have had them for almost 10 years, but this just goes to show how reliable and useful these things actually are, especially when used with our next tool on the list. Now, as a model maker, it's always good to have a scalpel line about, or two, or three, or six. But what some people do forget is the importance of having fresh blades and changing them as often as you can. Now changing your blade as often as possible is not only super easy but also in the long run such a big time saver as a sharp fresh blade is always going to cut through something a lot quicker than a dull blade. As you can see here a dull blade will need multiple slices to get through a piece of card whereas a fresh new blade will only need one. I can't even tell you how much time swapping out my blades has actually saved me. Now if you're looking to cut any straight lines you're going to be needing our next tool a steel ruler. Now the reason I specified a steel ruler is the fact that if you try and use a plastic one, especially with a scalpel blade, you're going to ruin the edges of that ruler and therefore make it useless. Now it's also a good idea to have different sizes and types of steel rulers just in case. Now another type of ruler you'll probably need when miniature model making is a scale ruler. Now these basically determine how big something needs to be depending on what scale you're working in. These are only used for measuring stuff out and not for cutting. It's also a good idea to have a few of these lying about. Maybe not as many as I do, you really don't need that many. Next up we have tweezers. We've got long tweezers, short tweezers, precision tweezers, and reverse pressure tweezers. Now these are great when you're working on the really small detailed parts of your model. Next up, we have a Dremel. Now this tool is a massive time saver, especially if you get it with multiple Dremel heads. With this, you can sand so much quicker, you can cut so much quicker, you can polish so much quicker, and you can drill so much quicker. Another important thing to have as a model maker is different types of glue. When using super glue, I prefer to use the gel kind, mainly because other more liquid super glues seem to run a lot, which when working with miniatures means you'll get it all over your fingers. I tend to use glues like Mod Podge and PVA glue more when working with foam, as some super glues react badly with the foam and actually cause it to dissolve. And finally, we have the random boxes. Now I know this isn't really a tool per se, but it's so useful as a model maker to have a box filled with just random little objects that could potentially be used in future models. Now these random boxes are built up from old models and found objects, so everyone's is going to be a bit different. And there we have it, the must have tools for a model maker. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll see you next week.